Belts back here again with a brand new video. This is going to be a quick detailed look at the brand new 2019 Intercontinental Championship replica belt. Now, this is the adult sized version of the belt with metal plates and simulated leather. So, obviously, you can see on the front here right now we've got the belt bag with the design of the center plate of the new belt on the front there. So, yeah, let's just get into this. So immediately, I should say, I bought this belt brand new from WWE Euro Shop during the Black Friday sales, and it arrived to me in early December. So I've had it for a short time, and I must say, I do actually really like it. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions of this belt online. Uh, some people really like it, some people really dislike it. Uh, I'll be honest, I am a bit in the middle. I, I do like it, but I think it could do with a, a lot more colour or... Something along those lines. I think it's just a little too much black paint for my liking. The design, I think, is pretty solid. I think just the choice of all the black might be a little bit questionable. I think a little bit of blue in the globes might have been nice. But yeah, let's just get into this. We'll, we'll talk about the belt as we go along. We'll start off with the simulated leather strap. So immediately, one thing I have to point out is it doesn't have any stitching going around the border. So if you've seen any replica belts from the past, they all always had the stitching going all the way around the belt so it's nice to see this belt actually doesn't have that and it, it entirely has simulated tooling which does actually look really good the detail achieved on this looks really nice you can see kind of the bevel like details here giving it that leather like effect the tooling in the snap box is there two by eight snap box here and of course the wwe logo in the strap there. One thing I, just if I'm being OCD or nitpicky, I, I would have liked for this to be the same width as the rest of the, the kind of lines there. I don't know why that one's particularly thin, but uh, that's me absolutely nitpicking. Uh, so we'll move on to the other side of the strap. I should point out, it does have the imitation tooling on the base of the strap uh, around the plates themselves in between the side and center plates. Again, moving on to the right-hand side, we got the WWE logo again tooled into the strap there. And uh, this is just a blue protective covering, a bit of plastic that comes on brand new belts from WWE. And again, a two by six snap box on this side. With the gold tip here with the WWE logo and kind of the globe design behind it, uh, I think th the tip's a really weird shape. I should point that out from the off. I think it's, it's, it's really like, a large tip yeah it's a really strange shape actually uh i don't know if i like that part of it to be honest i think it just looks a little bit overkill i, I don't dislike it i should say i just think it looks a bit weird probably also could have used with a little bit of color okay so moving on to the plates themselves we'll start off with the side plates just there's not really much to talk about on this design, but we'll take a look nonetheless. Uh, the circular plate itself, um, it, it does follow the same design that the WWE and the Universal belts had, except for one change, other than the paint, which I really don't like, is they've kind of etched in almost imitation stones into the design of the belt. Uh, so you can see there, these square designs are, are supposed to represent stones, and it's kind of... I've got the WWE heavyweight side plate here or the universal side plate and you can see the designs are very similar. It's just, I don't know why they wouldn't put like real gems in the belt. It seems a bit strange to design them into the, the plates rather than actually using stones. Uh, but other than that, it's got imitation screws as well on the front. As you can see on the other side plates, it used to have little stones in the sides rather than the screws, but on this we've had designed screws, so it does look all right. Uh, it does unscrew from the back, I should point out still. So if anyone sees these and got their hopes up, unfortunately it still unscrews from the rear of the belt. The rest of the side plate design, there's not really much to talk about, is there? It's a little bit of black paint in the corners. The whole point of these side plates is purely to house the superstar circular plates really so there's not much to talk about on the side plates we'll move on to the center plate now and this is probably the most interesting part of this belt one thing i should say as well is i don't like how close the plates are to each other i'll show it when i flip the belt over but the screws are very close so that will affect the flexibility of the belt uh, 
but I will go into that shortly. Onto the center plate design itself though, it's actually a really cool design. Again, one thing that they've done is imitation stones, which I don't like. I'll, I'll, I'll mention that right away. I don't like that they've done this on the center plate as well. These circular designs are supposed to look like uh, gemstones or crystals or diamonds or whatever. And I'm not a huge fan. We'll talk about at the end of this video, I'm gonna modify this belt. I'm gonna need some input from everyone. So if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll talk about that. But the belt itself, um, I should mention, the plates are really nice. Uh, four mil thick side plates and then a variety of thicknesses to the center plate. You can see the globes stick out really nicely. The, the real one's obviously CNC etched, this kind of raised design on the outer edges. And of course the WB logo in that globe is actually domed quite nicely. So you can see it's got a little bit of depth to it as well. It looks really good. And if you caught that as well, these wreath patterns on the center plate are also etched into the belt. So those are down a layer. So it looks really good. There's all these different layers to the belt and it, it's a really nice looking belt. Uh, I should say the detail itself on this is really quite incredible. So if you're looking for a good detailed belt and a really really nicely made replica belt, look no further, this is really good. I must say, uh, I do like it. I think it could have, again, done with a little bit more paint. But that's just a personal preference thing. Um, we'll flip the belt over now and take a look at the back of the belt. So again, like I was saying, the straps look a lot better, but the flexibility is, yeah, it's still pretty trash. So yeah, get it re-leathered. Um, Onto the back of the belt here, you can see the patch 2019 WB Shop replica belt. So you can see all the screws there. Like I mentioned before, uh, this is the edge of the center plate. So it's so close to where the belt needs to crease that there's not there's not a lot of room there. Uh, when I relather this belt, I might just add a, a few millimeters uh, just to the distance between them, just so there's a little more room for the belt to flex and fold. Uh, I think. I think if the, if the bolts were a little bit further in as well, it would have maybe been a little bit better. But what am I critiquing this for? Um, we'll take the plates off. We'll take a look at the back of the, the plates themselves, see what how this belt's put together. And that's pretty much all there is to this belt. So I'm going to unscrew the plates now and we'll take a look at that shortly. Okay, so what we've done now is we've unscrewed the side plate on the right-hand side here and the center plate as well as the gold tip here. So you can see... How the straps put together, you can see the infill, actually the foam that the straps are made of on the end there. Uh, so the tip itself, like I said, really interesting shape really to it. It's a cool design and it just screws together like that, as you can see, using these three screws up here. So it fits in place nicely there and there's not much more to see about that. Um, okay, onto the side plates. So those come off. Apart from the, the strap itself, not much really to see at the back of these plates. You can see just a little, uh, little ridges that hold the circular side plate in place. So really not much to see there. Onto the center plate. And as you can see, it's, it's quite an interesting design. This kind of looks like ears, eyes a head of some kind but yeah so the WWE the domed little WWE plate that has the dome there you can see the globe almost that's actually an additional plate that's screwed on so I didn't realize that until I took this belt apart but so what we're going to do is we're just going to unscrew that now uh, just have to loosen them and it comes off quite easily so yeah, that's essentially how the new Intercontinental replica belt uh, comes apart. And it's several pieces that go into assembling this belt. So like I said, it's a really nice looking belt. I think it probably could have done with a little bit different paint choices, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video and really like this belt, I definitely recommend getting it. Now onto something that I mentioned before. Uh, I've seen a lot of concept designs kind of of this belt online, uh, kind of, prototype uh, Photoshop designs of this belt, kind of different paint, different strap colors, and I, I really think I preferred them. So I'm gonna post them on screen as I'm speaking now. So we've got one, one edit that's 
on a white strap. It has the blue globes, just like kind of the most recent Intercontinental belt did. And then there's one that was on a black strap that I, that I don't know if I prefer or not. The black strap version with the blue globes reminds me a lot of the original oval Intercontinental belt, the one from the late 90s, mid 2000s until the classic design returned. So basically what I'm, what I'm asking is, what do you prefer? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you prefer the white strap version or the black strap version? Because I want to turn this into one of those. So what we're going to do is I'm going to replace the entire leather strap, obviously. We're going to change it with real leather regardless of the color. It will be a black real leather strap or it will be a white real leather strap. And what something else we're going to do is we'll paint all the globes. So we'll paint this one blue. We'll paint this one blue. The one behind the WWE logo will paint blue. And even the one on the tip there as well. So all those will be blue, oh, and the ones behind the logos on the side plates. Um, after that, one thing I really want to do, because these are bothering me, is I'm going to add real stones. So we're going to put cubic zirconias in place of all these little circles here on the center plate. So going around that is going to be real cubic zirconias, and exactly the same on the side plate. We're going to put real stones in here, uh, so it'll look a little bit more similar to this. Uh, once we're done with that, so I think that will look really good. I'm not again. I'm not sure on the strap color. So the feedback I want to get in the comment section below: black strap or white strap? What should this belt get? We'll put that plate back in place so it kind of looks like the belt again. But again, if you're looking for my recommendation and my opinion, I think this is a really well-made replica. I like it a lot. And if you're looking to add a good quality replica belt to your collection, pff, there's not really much much better than this one. If I'm honest. I'm a big fan of this and I'm really excited to modify this belt because I think I'm going to like it even more once it's converted into what I think will be a better version of what the belt currently is. That being said, thank you very much for watching. If you've stuck along this far, thank you. I really do appreciate it. We've got lots of more belt videos coming up very soon. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Again, more belt videos coming soon. If you're interested in a real leather strap custom belt, real leather wrap like a belt, restoning, nameplate, side plates, whatever, check out the website in the description box below, paulmartinbelts.com. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Yo, monkeys, it's me, DDP. And if you want to get one of the greatest belts made for you, go to Paul Martin Belts. That's right, sucker.